So we got all the parts back from powder coat, so we're gonna put the water intake in for good. We got our Sika Flex, and uh, yeah, we'll put a generous helping of it everywhere. Okay, now you can make noise, guys. Just be nice. Okay, so we're putting the drive shaft in with the carbon seal and the little bearing for the back of the motor and the ring. So, so the order of operation is make sure the bearing with the seals is in the rubber boot that's attached to the motor. You then put the carbon seal on its uh, bellow onto the intake. You then need to slide the drive shaft through, which then you need to line this up as the drive shaft comes through. You need to push everything out of the way, clip the seat clip on, and then tighten everything up and tighten the hose clamps. So it, it sounds simple, but it's sometimes not simple at all. So, while pushing this as far forward to the motor as I can, so it preloads that bellow and puts pressure on the seal. I'll hold that and tighten that up. There we go, drive shaft is installed. So we're just assembling a few more things. We've got the steering cable through the transom. And it runs up the gunnel. And obviously we'll go to the steering column. We've got the reverse cable through there. It'll run up there. We're gonna have a lever right here. We got most of the plumbing in, just a few more hoses. And then the rest of the aluminum pipes and Pretty much this end of the boat will be done. We forgot to take the bag off. Remember that time I said let's leave it on and make a vacuum, and then we did leave it on and we made a vacuum. We had a <laughs> plastic bag on the air filter; it kind of sucked it in. Okay, so. that didn't happen. First startup. <laughs> Ready? Like first startup. <laughs> See anything anywhere? Okay, fire it up one more time, get a little rev, and shut her down. The flutter. <laughs> 
Sounds friggin' horny. <laughs> <laughs>